So with the off-season underway and a lot of players going on holiday, Novak Djokovic has actually done an interview with 60 Minutes in this time off, talking about a lot of things, including things like his rivalry against Nadal and also the guys that are coming through and how he's still playing at this age. Let's go have a look at what he actually had to say on that 60 Minute interview. So this is what Djokovic had to say in the interview with John Wertheim on 60 Minutes. This is regarding some of the negative thoughts that he has as an athlete, he says, especially in the big moments, when you're under tension, I might appear locked in, but trust me, there's a storm inside. The biggest battle is always within. You have your doubts and fears. I feel it every single match. I don't like this kind of mindset that I see a lot in sports. Just think positive thoughts, be optimistic. There's no room for failure. There's no room for doubts and stuff like this. It's impossible. You are a human being. The difference between the guys who are able to be the biggest champions and the guys that are struggling to get to the highest level is the ability to not stay in those emotions for too long. For me, it's really relatively short. As soon as I experience it, I acknowledge it. I maybe burst or scream on court, but I'm able to bounce back and reset. He was also asked about the Wimbledon 2019 final where he saved championship points to beat Roger Federer, saying, I beat him 13-12 in the fifth set. The sets that I won were all in tie breaks. Overall, if you see the stats, he was the far better player in every aspect, but I won the match. That actually tells you can still win if you pick and choose which moments of the match you are peaking and playing your best when it matters. He was also asked about his rivalry against Rafa Nadal, and he said, I'm playing Rafa in Roland Garros, and I have his locker next to my locker. So we're so close. We're trying to give each other space, but that locker room is also not that big. When you jump around like Nadal does before we go on court, in the locker room, he's doing sprints next to you. I can even hear the music he's listening to in his headphones. You know it was pissing me off. Earlier in my career, I didn't realize how all of that is part of the scenario. I was getting intimidated by that, but it's also motivating me to do stuff myself and to show that I'm ready for a battle for a war. Then he was asked about the hostile crowds and the environments that he has to deal with, especially once at Wimbledon and throughout the US over his career. And Djokovic said, the amount of pressure and stress is so much bigger when you have the crowd against you. Most of my career, it was mostly hostile environments for me. I kind of learned how to thrive in that environment. People think it's actually better if they don't like me, so it gets the best out of me in terms of my tennis. It did happen, but at the same time, I actually enjoy more being in an environment where I have nice support. In the final part of the interview, he was talked about his rivalry against Carlos Alcaraz, and he said, he's as complete a player I've seen in ages. The loss at Wimbledon pissed me off so much that I needed to win everything on American soil, which I did. It's a great opportunity for me to reinvent myself and really push harder than I ever did. So there you have it, Djokovic, a little bit of a snippet there of the interview that he did on 60 Minutes, talking about Nadal, talking about Federer, talking about Alcaraz, talking about his own emotional state. But let me know down in the comments below. What did you find most interesting about that interview? If you want to go watch the interview, I'm sure it's somewhere online. Maybe it's on YouTube or something. You can go watch it. But uh, there are some of the biggest moments, I guess, of that interview. And it was a very interesting interview indeed. He did give a lot of insights. And it's funny how Elkris is coming along and motivating Djokovic to do something more. Because we know Federer and Nadal are both almost retired. We know Federer is gone. Nadal's not too far away. But now with Elkris coming through and maybe motivating Djokovic and, as he said, pissing him off by winning Wimbledon. It might keep Djokovic around a little bit longer to just keep Alcaraz in check, but there's the interview from the 60 Minutes that Djokovic did over the last couple of days and some very interesting insights into the world number one.